Hello and welcome back everyone to the Daily 5 of 10, your favorite 5-ish minute SLA update. I'm your host, Zeke Samoy, and with me as always, the Rachel to my Michael Scott. Wrong shows, and I'm Jasmine Tran. Today is Monday, February 27th, and National Protein Day. We have a very, very special week of the Daily 5 of 10 plan for you all. Which is why we don't want to waste any of your time with our, or should I say Jasmine's, <laughs> nonsense. If you know me, you know that I always say, let's just jump right in. Yes, of course, because it's always my nonsense. It's cohort week here at the SLA, which means that we'll be featuring all of the SLA employee cohorts on our show this week. Each day, we will be spotlighting a different cohort and having their respective leader and or co-leader on the show to come and talk about their cohorts. We hope that this will encourage you all to join one. Thank you to our health and wellness committee for coming to us with this idea. It's going to be a fun week of shows with plenty of new faces joining the show. But some of our new slayers, you may be asking yourself, what even is an employee cohort? Great question, which is why we, with the help of our friend Iona Vincent, put together this little infomercial about our SLA cohorts. We hope this helps. So Edward, cotton candy, get your cotton candy here, yep. Drents, please roll that clip. Are you feeling unmotivated, non-collaborative, anti-knowledge able? Well then you need an SLA cohort. An SLA what? An SLA cohort! A pair of shorts? Ansel Elgort? No! An SLA cohort! Cohorts are a fun and easy way to meet other team members, discuss your shared interests, learn something new, and this all happens during the work week once a month. I've learned a lot about my finances in the professional health and financial management cohort. I've been doing a cohort for a few years now. Um, a lot of people seem to enjoy themselves uh, coming to the sporting events. I feel so much healthier and more active now that I've joined the health, fitness, and nutrition cohort. I love my cohort. I can't eat and I can't sleep without my cohort. All you need to do to join one is simply watch the Daily Five at 10 this week, learn all about each of our seven amazing cohorts, find one that interests you, contact that cohort leader, and you're all set. Wow, I can't wait to join an SLA cohort. Now that's a win. Does it make you want to join an SLA cohort? I don't know what will. Yes, and now I finally know the difference between Ansel Elgort and the SLA cohorts. And that is what we call a win. Exactly right. But before we move forward with today's cohort spotlight, let's just quickly go over all of our SLA cohorts. We have the Family, Child Care and Elderly Care cohort, the Relaxation and Mindfulness cohort, the Financial Management slash Professional Health cohort, the Social Fund cohort, the Sports cohort, the Fitness, Health and Nutrition cohort, the Baking and Cooking Cohort, and finally, the Culture and Arts Cohort. And to kick off SLA Cohort Week, we're going to be covering the Relaxation Mindfulness Cohort. So, as I say, let's just jump right in. And it's still just us. Where are the guests? Actually, the spot for Cohort Leader for the Relaxation Mindfulness Cohort is still open. If you would like to become a leader or to join the Relaxation Mindfulness Cohort, please contact our VP of Operations and Events, Barbara, for more information. Employee Health and Wellness is a great initiative here at the SLA, and the Relaxation and Mindfulness Cohort is a great way to share resources and tips on way to de-stress and calm the mind and body. Mm -hmm. And that covers our first day of Cohort Week here at the Daily 5 of 10, and what a way to start things off. Be sure to tune in tomorrow to see which cohorts we're covering next and who will be joining us on the show. But as much fun as the segment was, we do have to move on to let everyone know. What's going on in the SLA? Our SLA Cohort Social will take place on Friday, March 17th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. This event is for everyone to meet cohort leaders and see what activities each cohort has planned for the new year. Food and drinks will be provided. The location is to be determined, so please keep an eye out on your inbox for any updates. Thanks to our sports cohort who will be on the show later this week, we are going to be having our first ever SLA paintball event on Saturday, March 18th at 2 Eucalyptus Drive in American Canyon. This event will take place from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m., so please keep an eye out for your inbox for any updates. Our CE course, Risk Transfer, it's fundamental but with many nuances, with Casey Roberts, will take place on Wednesday, March 1st from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. This event will be another hybrid course with the option to join online or at Hilton Universal City. 
this course will discuss the concept of risk transfer, how it is accomplished, how insurance normally responds, and more. Please speak with your manager if you'd like to attend. And now it's time for the Daily Gift Away. So, Jazz Hands, Min, what's today's National Day? Well, today is National Protein Day, which focuses on the many health benefits of one of the body's most basic building blocks. Whether it's chicken, beef, tofu... Snakes, gizzards, locusts, or barnacles, we hope you get your protein today, tomorrow, and the rest of your living days. And we also hope that you enjoyed today's gift away prize, which happens to be a $25 gift card to Safeway. To get any protein option you like, such as crickets, buffalo, and tofu. Very diverse plate, but I love it. So, let's pick a winner. Right, today's winner is Randall Nguyen. Congratulations. <laughs> Into our winner's protein shake you go. Don't forget to email us at 5 at 10 at cycle.com to claim your prize or if you have any comments or questions about the show. And that about wraps up today's episode. Everyone go and join the cohort. In the meantime, I'm Zeke. And I'm Jasmine. Thank you and catch you later, Slayers. Keep it rolling. Yes, please. Uh, let's see. Whoever, whoever's first. We'll see. Zeke. I think. Good job with all the cohort names. <laughs> <laughs>